Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing kind of like a site review. So I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Wish.com. There has been a ton of videos recently or kind of recently on YouTube where people are just buying a lot of things off Wish because a lot of their things are very, very affordable. A lot of the hauls that I watched were like $1 Wish haul. But honestly, I couldn't find anything interesting that was $1 New Zealand dollar. Pretty much everything that I bought are all clothing and they are all under 10 or 15 New Zealand dollars including shipping because when you order off Wish each item has its own shipping so one item might say it's three dollars but when you go to checkout it's actually six dollars don't get fooled by that you do have to pay shipping for a lot of the items that you buy so I got seven items and the total cost for it was about $65 including shipping this is 65 New Zealand dollars so about $40 US dollars for reference. I haven't opened them. They are still in its packaging. I'm going to try them on for you guys and just compare it to the photo that they um, advertise it as online. So I just want to talk about my experience shopping on Wish. So when you go to Wish, um, a lot of their things, it's kind of weird. So when you see a thing that you like and it says it's six dollars, but when you want to get like a size medium, the price will change. If you get it in a different color, the price will change for the exact same item. So if you see like a really cute top that you like and you want a size medium it's gonna the price might change and if you want it in a different color the price might change so keep that in mind again you do have to pay for shipping you will only see how much the shipping is when you go to the checkout another thing is that all of the items come in separate times so some of my stuff came within three weeks and then some of the stuff came in to a month and a half later so if you order 20 things do expect your Korean man to come 20 times to you to deliver it so they don't all come at the same time Time. I think it's just different sellers. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say before we get started just about the shipping and how everything went when I was purchasing. Let's just move to the corner. I am going to try on the items and tell you guys my thoughts on them. Okay, so switching over to this little corner, my try on corner. I have my laptop here with all the screenshots of the prices and the shipping and what it looks like on the models, what they advertise it as, and then I will probably just insert it somewhere here side by side so you guys can see but I haven't opened any of my packages I have been holding it out for this video so you guys can get my initial you know reaction so these are my seven items who knows what it is it's a small package oh nice not oh my gosh I actually wow this might be really nice. Okay, so this is the first item. It is just a black lace cami, and I love the thin straps on this, and I love the detailing of it, but it does look very thin. Thin. like it does look like it's quite see-through it actually looks quite similar to what the girl looks like it doesn't look too bad I think it's just the quality of it how the material is quite thin this is the women's fashion sexy woman chiffon blouse lace patchwork shirt v-neck sleeveless crop tops so this was three dollars and it was two dollars for shipping so five dollars in total I'm gonna try this on and we'll see how it looks on me so this is what the black lace Cami looks like on me. I actually really really like it. So there are a couple of things that I don't like. First is the material here, how it's see-through. I mean, I think you can see my bra and my belly. I don't like that. And I do think I got the wrong size. So if you are a similar size to me and you want to get this shirt, maybe get a size medium or large because I can't actually pull this all the way down because my hips are a bit wider than my waist. So it's a bit tight here and I don't, I don't want to rip the shirt, you know? But overall, I really like the style of it. Like, it looks really nice. I think it actually looks Looks really similar to what they advertise it as it's just the material is a bit thin because I'm wearing a silicone bra so it looks a bit weird if I was wearing a black lace bra or something I think that will look really cute this is something I would personally wear and I love it I love the straps so yeah first item I'm quite happy not too shabby okay so let's open up the next one oh, maybe take on the same cell that's why I can at the same time let's see let's see oh Oh gosh. So this is the next item. Let's let's see what it says online. Okay, let's 
Okay, so I have it here. It doesn't look anything like it. I wanted the color pink, but online it looks like a blush nude. This is like a neon pastel peachy orange. This one was $5 and the shipping was $2. So this is the Summer Style Sleeveless Cross Casual Woman Tank Tops. Sexy hollow out bustier crop tops girls cropped tank Tops. So I actually got this shirt in a size extra small and obviously it's super super tight I couldn't even fit my big ass head through this and this one is a complete fail as you guys can tell Like what is this lining here? This doesn't even cut like, I think it's meant to cover your chest doesn't even cover the chest This is just like not good. The material feels really like feels really weird. It's not cotton. It's not chiffon It's just like a really weird material. This neckline is too high. The color is way off and it's it's just like not flattering, you know? I'm not feeling this one. Okay, so that was a complete fail. Moving on to the next one. So right now, one was good, one was bad. So I'm probably just gonna donate this one because I don't think anybody that I know would wanna wear this, so. Oh no. Okay, so this is a velvet cami. I do remember getting this one. I don't remember getting this kind of shade. So this is just what it looks like, a basic singlet. I don't know, like the material looks fine. Oh yeah, it does look kind of similar. I think on the model, the straps look a lot thinner, but I mean, the color looks fairly same and it's a velvet material. So I would say this one looks pretty similar to what it's advertised. So this is the Women's Sexy Deep V-neck Simple camisole silk velvet spaghetti strap tank top vest. I got this in a size small. Color is coffee. So this was $7.60 and the shipping was $4. So this is it here. Um, it's a little bit cropped. It doesn't like cover your crotch area. But yeah, this is nice. I feel like this is a medium size. It's a bit loose for a size small in my opinion. But this is kind of not my style. The reason why I mainly got it was because of the spaghetti straps that I saw in the picture where it was very very thin and obviously this is very thick. I mean, it's not bad. Like, it fits nicely. It looks like the model, kind of, besides these straps. Other than that, I'm not like, I'm not mad about it. Let's keep moving on. Okay, I think I know what this one is. These are a pair of shorts just to wear around home. Wow, this looks really small. So it just looks like these kind of, I don't know, gym shorts that you would wear around the house. I feel like this is gonna be way too tight. I'm really like, like, you know, skinny and thin, like I'm a size 6 up here, but I'm more like a size 8, almost a 10 down there, so I don't know this, but I mean, it's just to wear around home, so shouldn't be too bad. The material feels, you know, decent, not the softest, not the worst, just like a good material. So let me find it on the screenshot. Actually, the more I look at this top, I, I don't mind it. I think I will keep this one, so. This one is the Women's Skinny Yoga Shirt. Short, sport shorts gym workout. I got a size small. It was $3, originally $29. I feel like originally price is just kind of fake. And it has like 6,000 reviews. I don't know, this, this website's just, it's just a bit sketchy. And the shipping was $2. So in total, this was $5. Oh my gosh, okay. These are so tight. Okay, I got the wrong I got the wrong size. These look like boys boxer shorts. Okay, let me get my chair. I mean, this is nice to like wear around the home or like go to sleep. It's just, it's, it's kind of my fault because I got the wrong size. It's just really tight. I guess this is like, you know, yoga shorts or something like that, right? I mean, you could even use this to work out. Don't girls wear these kind of tight shorts to go work out or something? It's, not, it's actually not how bad. Like just to wear around the house, I mean, $5. Just get a bigger size and it probably will work out for you. I mean, that's, that's not that's not that bad. Now we're moving on to the next one. Let's open this up. Oh, what? What is this? Oh, I thought it was like polka dot love heart, but it's just the package. And I'm like, I don't remember ordering anything polka dot. Okay, so this is a t-shirt dress. So I don't know, you can't really see because it's black. The material does look quite see-through, so I probably would wear like a slip dress underneath or something. But it just has that cutout underneath. 
pretty standard top, you know, I don't know how you could mess this one up. So I'm gonna wear this and see how it looks. So it does look like what it looks like on the model, like I would fairly say. I feel like on the model it's a bit more like deeper, but I don't mind that because I don't like showing my chest. So this is the casual woman short sleeve long t-shirt dress solid v-neck dresses. I got a size small in the color black. This was $9 and it, the shipping was $3, so $12 in total. So just wearing it, it feels kind of like scratchy, like itchy. You know when you wear like knitted jumpers, that kind of feeling. But I feel like once I wash it a bit more, it will be uh, a bit more comfortable. It's a little too short. Let me grab my chair again. It's a little too short to, I guess, wear it as a t-shirt dress. I would definitely wear shorts underneath. Like, if you just go behind, it's kind of short. It's a nice shirt to wear around the house. I, I probably still would wear it going out, run errands or something. But I feel like this neckline's a little bit, like, wonky. But, I mean, it's like a simple t-shirt. I don't think you could mess that one up, you know. Let's see what we got here. This is like really fun, just like opening it and then trying it on. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. So this is just like an off the shoulder top with long sleeve. Like this kind of shirt's really in right now. I have a very similar one from Misguided in a white color. But yeah, this looks it looks good. The material feels a bit cheap, but I mean, what do you really expect? Like all this stuff is cheap and it's all made from China. It's all getting shipped out from China. So like, what do you expect? Of course, it's gonna not be the nicest material, but. I mean, that looks fairly, fairly cute. So it does look really similar to the model, I guess, on the photo. So this is the women's fashion sexy off-shoulder crop tops, nine colors, summer casual slim tees, blouse. I got a size small in the color black. This was $6, originally $113, and it, the shipping was $3, so altogether it was $9. Okay, I really like this one. This one actually looks really, really cute on. I think it's a really nice top. I mean, the material is not half bad. Just for 9 bucks. I mean, I would pay 9 bucks for this, because I did, and I probably will keep this one. I think this is the last one. So this one is the five color knitted sweater woman elegant v-neck Holter Cool Woman Top Slim Casual Sweater. I got a size small. This is in the color black. It was $8.55 and shipping was $4. This looks nothing like what the woman is wearing in the photo. So her one looks like it's like a knit cotton material. Well, let me try it on. Who knows? I might end up liking it. Okay, maybe this is not that bad. These head holes in these shirts are very small, okay? I got a big ass head. I don't know. I think from far away on camera, it looks cool. It looks cute. It fits me quite nicely, actually. Like a small is actually quite good. But it just has like these stripes on it where it makes it look weird. Yeah, let me know. What do you guys think of this one on me? Do you guys like it on me? Do you guys not like it? Like... What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's wrap things up. So overall with my shopping experience on Wish, I mean, it's, it's a very different kind of shopping experience where everything ships out separately. You gotta pay for shipping for each and every item, although everything is quite cheap. I would say half of the stuff is hit or miss. For me, I'm not really like a fussy person. I'm not very picky. As long as it looks good, it feels good, and it doesn't look like really, really cheap, 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 then I'm okay with it. I got seven items. I'm pretty happy with most of them. Some of them I'm like, yes, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna do OOTDs with them. Some of them I'm like, yeah, they're nice. I'm not too sure if I would keep wearing it. For example, this top and the the booty shorts and also the velvet brown singlet. And then the only thing that I'm like, no, I'm getting rid of is that peachy tight top. It's either hit or miss, you're either gonna like it, but I think, you know, it's very affordable, so you're not really losing too much money if you do buy something and you don't like it. I think for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this haul. I thought it was gonna go like really really bad like I didn't expect for me to actually like some of these items so I'm pretty happy with the majority of things and for the price I mean I got seven items for about $65 including shipping leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think of which have you guys ordered from them before let me know what was your favorite piece from this haul I will try and make sure to link everything down below just in case you guys want to purchase anything that's gonna complete my video for today I hope you guys did enjoy it I think for most of you guys when I'm uploading this it will be Christmas Christmas. So Merry Christmas you guys. I hope you guys are having a really fun day with your loved ones. But yeah, I didn't want to miss an uh, uploading day. So 
here I am uploading. Probably no one's gonna watch this video. Anywho, that is it for my wish haul. If you guys want me to do a part two, I mean, I would love to do it. I had so much fun just like opening packages, trying it on, telling you guys how I feel about it. So yeah, just leave your feedback in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys and that is going to wrap up this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!